Hello everyone. I want to start this video by saying at no point in any of this should I be considered I, I was going to say professional, I think adequate even good at video editing or guitar playing for that matter. But it's not what we're here about. Uh, I've had a lot of questions and uh, interest in the uh, the Gibson Invader that was covered in Cowhide that I purchased after seeing it in the Ridiculous Reverbs listing video. So I thought I would just kind of go over that and show everybody kind of what was going on with it. So let's get started. Figure out how to work this computer. One second. Here we go. All right, so there it is in all its glory. Uh, honestly, it didn't sound that terrible. Uh, the Fender humbuckers that were in there actually had a good tone to them. Uh, decent distortion. The clean was really nice. Uh, unfortunately, I had some some issues with the uh, the pickup selector. My uh, my bridge pickup wasn't working probably 60% yeah, of the time. And so I said, okay, whatever, you know, I'll take a look at the uh, the toggle switch. Well, when I opened up the back panel, just pieces were falling out from both the toggle switch, the pots. Uh, I realized pretty quick I was going to have to do some work. And uh, so I, I kind of wanted to keep the uh, the humbuckers. Uh, here we go. I got the strings off. I've pulled all the pods and stuff out. Uh, you know, got it pretty stripped down. But uh, the humbuckers turned out they were they were both Fender humbuckers. One was some type of solderless kit that somebody just cut the end and soldered it in. So, you know, and the other one was a standard, you know, regular soldered humbucker. Uh, honestly, I, I was really struggling to figure out the wiring, especially with the solderless one. I've never tried to solder a solderless pickup. And uh, I figured, man, if I'm going to have to rebuild this guitar, I might as well put what I want in there. And... Uh, so that's, that's what I did. Went ahead and just gutted everything. It was a lot more work than I, I really thought it was going to be. Uh, Les Paul stuff doesn't fit and SG stuff doesn't quite fit. It's like a mix between the two. So new wiring harness. I had to basically cannibalize a new wiring harness for an SG and an old wiring harness for, that I had from a Les Paul. I had to take parts from both of those to make this work. And... Uh, Ended up going with the Seymour uh, Duncan Pearly Gates in the uh, for my replacement pickups. Really enjoying them, and uh, there should be some music going in the background very softly. It's actually as soon as I got this guitar strung up and tested, I just played a little demo track because my buddies were dying to see it in action, and uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. But uh, you know, it, it it was a lot of work, man. I I really. I really kind of put it off because I, I, I was just more work than I intended and once I got into it I knew I was going to be busy so one day I just said screw it, broke up the soldering iron and uh, put on some music and got to it. Insert video. But uh, I, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks really cool, it's definitely unique and it actually it really sounds good. I wasn't sure if the hide would affect the tone or anything. Uh, had to do a little bit of Dremel work inside to make some stuff fit. Had to redo some stuff. So I was really kind of nervous about doing that much work to uh, to this guitar. Sorry, I'm popping my knuckles. But uh, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And I threw together a quick demo just for this video. Uh, once again, guys, it, it's a hobby of mine. I, I love playing. I love working and rebuilding guitars. But I'm I'm really not that good. So, you know, don't, don't take it too personal. But, uh... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out here. Something you've never heard a YouTuber say. And I'm sure you'll notice, I don't upload to this channel. I, this channel has nothing on it. So, don't like and don't subscribe. In fact, if you want to, dislike this video and hit the subscribe button twice so you're unsubscribing from me. Let's see how many dislikes we can get. Alright guys, have a good one.